Hey guys, it's Lee and I'm outside today to try some more bleach tie-dyeing. So my plan for this time around, I've never done this, my plan is to put this on the shirt. I got this at the Dollar Tree, I got the shirt at the Dollar Tree. Put it on there, spray bleach, and see what happens. I have these Dollar Tree chopping mats that I'm going to put inside the shirt to protect the back because I only want this design on the front. And now of course the wind is gonna start blowing. All right, I've placed it where I want it on the shirt and I'm gonna start spraying the bleach. This shirt is 100% cotton. So I'm hoping we'll get a really good result. And now I'm just gonna like spray the bleach a little bit to get some, I'm hoping like some little dots of white, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna let this sit for probably an hour, maybe longer and see what happens. And when I'm done, I'm gonna flip it over and just do the spray on the back as well. All right, I'm back. It's been an hour. The Chihuahua saw squirrels, so they're gonna be annoying. I'm gonna lift this up and hope it worked. <gasps> almost, almost. There's a little too much bleach right there, but I'm still pretty happy with it, honestly. I'm gonna flip it over and spray it so that I can get some more of these uh, little sprinkles. Sprinkles? It's not sprinkles. Some little bleach spots on this side. So I'm going to let this sit for another hour, then I am going to wash it, I didn't get the sleeves, and dry it, and then I will bring it out here and show you what it looks like. Alright, I decided to try again. I have this black shirt that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put this cutting board in spread it out or smooth it out. All right, so I have the ghost placed on there and now I'm just going to kind of crinkle up this shirt all around. It's not perfect, but it'll be all right. So now I'm gonna spray, this is just straight bleach around the ghost and then around the outside. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for a little while and then I'm gonna come back, flip it over, scrunch it up and spray the back of it. All right, let me take this up and hopefully it worked out. <gasps> yes, that is so cool. Little overspray there, but it's all right. Now I'm gonna flip this over. Hopefully, there, <laughs> and scrunch up the back. All right, I turned it over, I scrunched, scrunched it up the best I could, and now I'm gonna spray it. All right, now I'm gonna leave it for a little while, probably half hour, 45 minutes, take it in and wash it, and then I'll show you what both shirts look like when they're dry. All right, so here's the first one I did, and the dogs in the neighborhood are all barking. I really love the way this one turned out. The breeze is taking it away. Um, yeah, I love the way this turned out. Messed up a little right here, but it's all right. It'll be fine. I love it. Here's the back. I really, really, really love this one. I think it is so pretty. Here is the ghost shirt that I did. Um, the black shirt. Uh, this is kind of a weird shirt. It isn't actually a, a regular t-shirt. The bottom of it's kind of strange. But anyway, I think it turned out really cool. I love the, you know, scrunching it to get that pattern. Here's the back. It is super cool. I love this one too. 
Again, a little bit of bleach got under it, but that's all right. Oops, I didn't even show you. <laughs> a little bit of bleach got under the um, ghost, but I still think it looks so cool. All right, pardon the helicopter you can hear in the background. This is a third shirt I made, and I did not film this one. I was just thinking it was going to be just like the other one, so I didn't bother filming it. Um, one thing I did was I accidentally spilled bleach. I didn't wait for, might help if I show you, didn't wait for the pumpkin to kind of dry out. I picked it up and bleach kind of splattered all over it. So I just did the same thing I did with the first shirt where I just sprayed the bleach around and I think it turned out okay. I mean, this is a big bleach spot, but I mean, I'll still wear it. I think it is pretty cute. So this is the back. I basically did it the same way as the one I just showed you. I love that the way it looks when you scrunch up the shirt and then put the bleach on it. So let me know down in the comment section what you think of these bleach dyed t-shirts. Also let me know which one is your favorite. The red shirt with the skull, the first black ghost shirt, or the second black ghost shirt. I love them all. Um, this one's probably my favorite because of the sugar skull, but yeah, I love all three of them. So if you like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. Oh, I also will have a link in the description box of the other bleach tie-dye shirts I've done. You can just follow me along. I don't know what I'm doing, so this is all trial and error. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ooh, a gust of wind. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified every time I upload new videos. You can... <laughs> Alright, it's going a little crazy. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.